This is the API prices. So if you are using it in the app version, these are not really relevant to you. If you are building software though, this is incredibly relevant. So 3.2, this is input that must be cached, the second one and output. Yes, okay, so input, cached and output. So you pay different amounts depending on usage. Input is me sending messages to DeepSeek. Output is DeepSeek sending me messages back, basically. Cached is if you set up a piece of software and you have prompts that are very similar or information that's very similar going back and forward a lot, you can cache some responses to decrease costs. Input for DeepSeek is 28 cents, American cents, compared to 5.1 OpenAI is $1.25 and Gemini 3 Pro is $2. So it's almost 10 times cheaper than Gemini and it is five or six times cheaper than ChatGPT. And then on the output, it is 42 cents for a million tokens compared to $10 for GPT 5.1 and $12 for Gemini 3 Pro. It's not just cheaper, we're talking 20 times cheaper on output tokens, eight or nine times cheaper on input. It is much cheaper. And again, it is competitive. It's not better, but it's just as good almost and 10 times, 20 times cheaper. If you are building software, if you are using the API, you don't necessarily need the best model all of the time. I know that we as people want a really good model. If you're building a piece of software that maybe somebody puts in their details and it gives them a workout plan, you need speed and you need it to be cheap so that you can serve thousands, tens of thousands of customers at the same time. If you are building, this is incredibly attractive. Get access to the model. It's open source. You can fine tune it on your data, connect it to your own database or run it using their API. It will be extremely cheap compared to ChatGPT, Gemini, Anthropic. This is a threat and we're starting to see this in action 